Dan has made so much improvement over the past two months. His parents are even having a hard time slowing him down. At the beginning of all of this, he couldn't even get out of his hospital bed. But now, after a month of physical therapy in Boston, he's back where he belongs, at his home in Seabrook. I want to see if the turtle started eating or if spinach is out. Two months after 13-year-old Dan Dugan was admitted to the hospital with severe flu-like symptoms, he's back with his family and walking more than ever. Dan is so happy to be home. He's, uh, I've never seen him so excited about being here. Dan's dad says he's missed his own bed, his friends at school, and these guys, his pet turtle and his three dogs. Chloe is five, Braxton is three, and Allie's two. Dan's left leg and left shoulder are paralyzed by what doctors believe was enterovirus D68. Dan's come to terms with that and is now proud of what helps him get around. The brace um, helps me walk. Dan headed back to school with the help of a wheelchair this week, but he's starting off slow. Right now it's just half days. Hopefully after the new year he can acclimate into full days. Teachers are helping him catch up, and as for his friends, they're helping too. Their support can be found inside Dan's home on his Christmas tree. Handmade cranes line the branches as a sign of hope. It was incredible. They had that much thought for him, you know, in, in terms of where he was and how he was struggling. The entire town of Seabrook has been there since the beginning, raising money for Dan and his family. The bills have been mounting, and um, we've got to do some improvements to the house. Um, so we appreciate everybody's support. It's been great. Dan's family knows the road ahead is long, but they're staying strong. They say they couldn't be prouder of their son. He's an incredible kid. He's tough. He's kept a great sense of humor through all this. He's, he's an inspiration. Patrick and Kate say it's still too early to tell how permanent Dan's paralysis is. They're just focused on getting him strong. Physical therapy will continue for two more months. And even though life is different now, they're helping Dan realize there isn't anything he can't do. Live in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.